when I'm hearing my husband speaking just now, can't help but giving the glory to the Lord. Amen. Well, maybe to you, just another story, just another testimony, but in our lives, it's reality. Amen. We wake up in the morning, we sleep at night, and we say, Lord, thank you for the freedom. Thank you, Lord, that you really set us free. For me, Saturday was a day that I had to be very, very upset, very cross with myself. I was even fighting with my children because I knew Saturday my husband will go to horses and maybe he will come back with empty pockets, my salary, his salary, even savings that we had, even borrowed money from different people. But today we both are free. Amen. We woke up with the Lord. Amen. We're sharing our freedom with you today. Praise I'm praising my Lord for what he's done. Because my husband is speaking about his testimony, I don't want to speak so much about myself, but I just want to tell you that I give the glory to the Lord for the miracle in our lives. When my husband was leaving home, he had to have two guns. The one was an automatic, the other one was a revolver because he was carrying a lot of money to gamble. So you can imagine the fears of the wife. Where would he go? What would he do? Are they going to stab him at night when he carries money? Is he going to shoot somebody? Many times I said, I'm going to divorce him. Enough is enough. My children are going to grow one day and they will find out daddy is not at home. Daddy is in the gambling place or at the horses. When the children were waking up in the morning and daddy was coming seven o'clock in the morning with a newspaper under his arms, they said, mommy, is daddy coming or is he going? <laughs> uh, well, those days we used to lie very often and I said, no, I mean, he's just going out. He just went out to buy the newspaper. But for how long could I lie to the children and how long would I hold on? But I don't know how the Lord gave so much love into my heart. Every time I was cross with him, then the Lord was giving me love and I was feeling sorry. He was a big shot in the gambling places. Everybody knew him. You know, they even walk differently then. They're very proud one of the other. They used to wake up their wives. They, he used to wake me up at night and said, for me, I've lost this game by just one round. If this round was only once more, I would have made it. And every time it was just, he was just going to make it. Or Saturday night he would say, you know funny, my horse came just so close to the first one. We would have been millionaires by now. And thank God, because our trust is not in the Lord, or horses or chariots, but now it's in the Lord's hands. Amen. I give glory to the Lord because he visited ordinary people, as my brother said. And one evening, we felt his beautiful presence in our home. The children woke up. Spirit woke up, we woke up. We didn't see him in his bodily uh, uh, form. form, but we knew that our Lord was there. We just stood up and we started praising him and said, Lord, where are you? And I saw my husband following him, and we all went, and then the Lord went all around the whole home. I'm sure he was blessing the home. And then he just went everywhere because his spirit is not just one form. And then the Lord gave us the ministry just to share what is happening in our lives, to share it with others. Amen to share what the other people, I know the frustration of a lot of women, what they're going through. I know that I've got friends of mine. I know that they love their husbands. They don't want to be separated from the husband and the children. And we minister to them and we tell them, if this miracle happened into us, it can happen into you. If the Lord did set free my husband and took out his two guns and gave him, I don't know how many Bibles, and tracks and everything. And now if you can go to the joints and speak to these people. And a home can be open for people that they really are in need. The brothers spoke about captive people, prisoners. Prisoners, I believe, they're plenty and behind the bars. But we met a lot of people also. Prisoners in themselves. Prisoners in vices. Prisoners that they don't know how to come out. And believe me, people and friends and brothers and sisters, they don't know the Savior. They don't know that they can be set free. They don't know reality. And I think we lack sometimes. We don't tell the people what Christ has done into our hearts. Are we very, uh, how can I say, shy to share what the Lord has done for us? In our homes, in our businesses, in the shops, the butchery, the place where you go and do your grocery, you buy your groceries. The Lord has to be shined through us. They can see the freedom. People are very used to going to churches, take the children just for, relig for religion or to see, to show ourselves to other people and say, well, here we are, we're religious people. I think we're fooling ourselves. Jesus is life from the morning until the night, from Monday till Sunday night. And then the whole family. We said, Lord, we set the whole family free. 
And today, with all my heart, I want to give thanks to the Lord that Daddy is at home. Daddy is not in a gambling place. My children can walk around happily because they've got their Father with them. And most of all, we've got Jesus. And we want to proclaim Him. I also want to share with you that when you start loving the Lord, the Lord that you never knew before, I never knew the Lord. I was an atheist. And I met a Lord who showed me that the, the sky has got different blues. I don't know if you've seen it. I never looked up. I didn't know there's so many blue and so many green. I've looked at the trees and I said, well, it's not only one green, they're two different shades. And then I saw birds and I saw flowers. And then I saw tears in people's eyes. And believe me, brethren, there are many tears in people's eyes. There are people that they haven't got others to be hugged and be loved. And if we can't give love, if we haven't received it from the Savior. We minister to a lot of people, but they've got family problems. We minister to people that they are in bondages of drugs, of alcohol, even murderers. One, praise the Lord, came to the Lord and he said, Oh, thou short somebody, now I'm free man. I know the Lord has forgiven me. There is a lot of work because people are very tired of hearing words. They want to really see that you love them and you identify yourself with them. Amen. There are families without father. There are families without mother, as the brother said, our brother said. We Christians, we have to share our food with people. The Lord gave me the other day, he says, I don't want you fasting. How can I accept your fasting and you accept miracles to happen? Have you shared your bread with the poor? Have you opened your home to people that have got no shelter? Have you put people on your table that they will never have table to invite you in your place? Have you hugged people that they smell because they haven't got soap? Our Lord has got big arms and he loves people and I just thank him today because for this freedom that he gave us we can do miracles all the body of Christ can do miracles because he is our Lord we are not going to be shown ourselves but show our Lord and our Savior and let his name be glorified in Johannesburg you South Africans are very privileged because the gospel is very free here and the gospel is in <coughs> different homes wherever we go there is a Bible in my homes, when you take the Bible with you, they say, what are you, Jehovah Witness? <laughs> well, what's wrong with you? I mean, you young people, we went to Greece and my family said to me, oh, poor girl, so young, I'm going to God. I mean, now we say, what a privilege, my children, so young to go to the Lord. But there, there is darkness. They think Christ or church is for old people, just ready to die, and they don't even know where they're going. 10 million people in my country are dying without the Lord. And we need power. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. We're starting from Jerusalem, which is Johannesburg for us. But we're intending to go there one day and give the good news to our people. May the Lord bless you richly all. Because each one has got a ministry. Praise the Lord. Amen.